This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX CAS technology student course. In this lesson, we will look at bar charts and pie charts in the data and statistics application. Your Inspire CAS CX2 can produce colorful graphs for categorical data. First, we will use the lists and spreadsheet application to construct our frequency table. After that, We'll then link those values to a data and statistics application. Let's suppose a survey has been conducted amongst 60 gardeners who are asked, what vegetable grows best in your garden? Start by opening a lists in spreadsheet application. The survey was asking about best growing vegetables. So, in the name cell for column A, type the word veggies, V-E-G-I-E-S, and press Enter. Now tab down to cell A1 and type carrots. And press Enter. Similarly, for cells A2 to A5, type onions, press enter after each one, tomatoes, cucumbers, and pumpkins. Very important to press enter after each of these. Now use the arrow keys to go up to the name cell of column B. There we are in the name cell and type F R E Q for frequency, the number of gardeners who named a particular veggie as their fast, fastest growing. Press Enter. In cells B1 to B5, type the numbers 18, press Enter, 9, 14, 12, and 7. Enter. You have now created two list variables. To view a bar graph of this data, press Menu, then choose Data, then Summary Plot. The fill-in checklist for summary plot has something that you need to adjust. We'll use the arrow keys and the tab key to make the X list store the list variable veggies. So we go use the right arrow key once. We go down to select veggies and press enter. Now these will be the horizontal axis category labels. Next, press Tab, and we have the summary list. Now that should be frequency. That's for the vertical axis number labels. Then Tab to Display On. And we want that to be a new page, not a split page. We want to see the entire page set up with this graph. So we go one place to the right with our right arrow key, select New Page, and press Enter. We then tab to OK. And when we press Enter, we have opened up a Data and Statistics application, page 1.2. Guide the arrow cursor over any of the bars. Let's choose Tomatoes. 
and you'll be able to read the name of the category, tomatoes, the number of data, which is 14. In this case, that's the number of gardeners who grew this veggie best. Remember that there were 60 gardeners altogether. And the percentage out of the 60 gardeners that this represents. So 14 is 23.3% of the 60 gardeners. Any of the other bars display their relevant information. Now, a pie chart of the same data can be accessed by pressing Menu, then choosing Plot Type, then Pie Chart. And the chart will appear. Again, the cursor guided over the regions like I'm doing now, reveals useful data information. 18 of the 60 farmers, gardeners chose carrots. Now, if you wish to alter the color of any of the sectors, place your cursor over that sector. Let's say, onions, select it by clicking, and then press Control Menu. Choose Color, then Fill Color, and use the Tab key to select the one you want. It's currently on green. Maybe for some reason we'd like to make it gray. Press Enter. And double click to lock that in. Since there are a number of different graphs we can see in the data and statistics application, Let's finish by exploring what editing is available on the pie chart. Press Menu, then Plot Properties. Those commands available for the plot chart will be in black lettering, and those not available for this type of graph will be ghosted. Let's choose Show All Labels. And the percentages will appear within the sectors of the chart. Well, that's all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other videos in this course.